Welcome to episode 3 of Mad Maps. Many countries' borders make sense. They follow rivers, mountain ranges or coastlines. But some countries' borders don't seem to make any sense at all. This is Mad Maps, where we look at some of the world's strangest borders. This time we're going to talk about panhandles. Not those ones. They make for some pretty weird borders. Take Namibia. Looks fine, right? Now look at this panhandle, all 450 kilometers worth. Why is it there? Namibia used to be a German colony. German Chancellor Leo von Caprivi needed to get access to the Zambezi River. This way, he hoped to connect Namibia with another German colony, German East Africa. But only later did they figure out that the river was not navigable, due to what's considered to be the world's largest waterfall. But Namibia has been stuck with this crazy panhandle ever since. Next up, the Democratic Republic of the Congo. The country basically has a foot sticking out far into the territory of Zambia called the Congo Pedicle. Again, this is thanks to a European ruler. Leopold II of Belgium was an ambitious king who coveted more than just his small country. He also wanted a piece of the African pie and ended up with the Congo Free State. But it wasn't enough. Leopold wanted access to rich wetlands over here. So he took on the British Empire. After some tough negotiations, they decided that this looked fair enough. To the north, the pedicle follows a river. To the south, a watershed. In this corner here, Leopold cut his precious access to the wetlands. And this, this is basically just connecting the dots. Finally, let's visit a unique corner of Afghanistan called the Wakhan Corridor. It's very mountainous and very isolated from the rest of the country. It looks like its sole purpose is to cut Tajikistan off. Well, kind of. It was to keep two empires, Russia and Great Britain, out of each other's hair. This imperial cat and mouse was known as the Great Game. And Afghanistan was the pawn, its foreign policy controlled by Britain. Panhandles have caused problems in more recent times too. Namibia's Caprivi Strip had its own separatist Caprivi Liberation Army and by the late 1990s the government had to arrest its leaders. The so-called Congo Pedicle has been a headache for neighbouring Zambia, cutting off transportation between its two lobes. Although a road has been built through the region, its safety depends on the overall security situation in Congo. But panhandles can have positive aspects too. Afghanistan's Wakhan Corridor is so remote, the conflict plaguing the rest of the country has generally not reached it. 